Hi everyone, Ben with Revive here. I'm gonna to talk today about some single leg balance training. And during this time of quarantine, a lot of us have been doing a lot more running, a lot more home workouts. And one of the things that we can neglect sometimes is our single leg balance. And so a couple of drills that I really like um, to help us feel what tissues are likely not getting as much work as they should uh, with our balance work and with our squat work, our deadlift work, is our adductors. So the adductors run all along the inner side of the thigh here. They conduct up into the inside of the, the inner part of the pelvis, come down and attach on the outside of the knee. So what that does is as we bring the foot in towards the body, those tissues are shortening to pull the leg in as we take the leg away from the body, those fibers are having to lengthen to allow that range of motion to occur. A lot of times we don't have very good control in our sort of mind-body connection or the ability of our brain to tell the right tissues to do what we want them to do. So we use some feedback tools like a yoga block or a ball right between just above the knees and we just plant our feet right below our hips so I've got some space in between my feet here. And I'm just gonna work on squeezing the ball. And what I should notice, or the block, and what I should notice is there's a little bit of rotation as well that goes with my hips here that I can turn my knees out so that my kneecaps are pointing out to the sides, kind of on an angle here. And then I can also turn them back so they're facing straight forward, maybe even a little bit pointed to the inside. And so I can use the ability to squeeze the block and combine that with rotation to create stability. I'm getting more muscular engagement and the idea of rotation or torque is gonna to help my hip be more stable and allow me to make adjustments in real time to maintain stability. So once I've kind of got the feeling of squeezing into the block, I can feel the rotation, sort of see my feet kind of moving back and forth, even though my, they're not leaving the ground, then I can go to the next drill. I'm gonna bring my feet together. I'm gonna to squeeze my knees in towards each other. And then I'm gonna to try to unweight one foot without my hips moving out to the side, okay? So again, I wanna hold maybe hit hands on the hips here or hands right on the midline. I'm gonna take a deep breath in, exhale out all my air, squeeze air into my belly by taking it in through my nose. And this sets my midline. So all this tissue is now holding my pelvis where I want it to stay. I'm gonna squeeze my knees together and then tr slowly try to lift my right foot up or my left foot up without my hips moving to the side. And you can see there's a little angle there so I can correct as best I can, hold for a few seconds, come down and touch without putting weight through that side and then come back up. And what I should see is little to no shifts laterally of the hips, okay? Once we can do that pretty well, we can start to train it. So I can come up, I can let my leg come in front of me here, and then I can squeeze through that adductor, pulling my leg back to the position it was when it came right off the floor. So again, coming across, I'm not reaching with my leg, I'm just allowing my hip to go out to the side. That creates the forward movement, and then I pull my pelvis back to level, and that brings my foot right back down to underneath me. Give that one a try. Hopefully that helps with your single leg stability and we can transfer it over into other movements, our running, our squatting, our hinging, and stay nice and healthy.